today, St. Charvel Makulu, a priest, a hermit, part of the Eastern Church in many ways. And so we recognize how in many ways God can use us, recognizing that when we turn away from the world in some ways and focus ourselves on God, He can give us many gifts. He can help us recognize our own gifts that He has already given us. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who called the priest St. Charvel Macbluf to the solitary combat of the desert, and imbued him with all manner of devotion, grant us, we pray, that being made imitators of the Lord's passion, we may merit to be co-heirs to his kingdom, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people, who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response will be, offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Holy High to the Most High, then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. planted in you, and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. Then the crop grew and bore fruit. The weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He said, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat among, with, along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds, and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass. For the Holy Father's intention for July, the courage to build dialogue and friendship in situations of conflict. In the readings today we hear about Moses presenting the covenant to the people. See how the people assent to that, recognizing that they are in relationship with the Lord. That it's not up to their doing, but it's God's blessings, it's God's benefits, it's his perseverance, it's his love and mercy that keeps the covenant going. It is based on his faithfulness, not on our faithfulness or lack of faithfulness. And so we hear that throughout the readings today. We even hear about the gospel, about good seeds being sown, but there are, are weeds among them. And we all know what that's like in our own lives being made good, being made perfect in our baptism, recognizing the Lord works in many ways to help us to grow, but also know that we often get sidetracked. We often have those seeds of dissension. We have the seeds of the world in some ways that try to take us into lesser things, promising that that will be our true happiness. And so we hear what he says, wait till the harvest comes, then pull up the weeds, bind them for burning, and then we will do the harvest for what is good. And so we recognize that, and we recognize that in, in our saint today, our saint Maluf, Macluf. We see him like Saint Anthony, the desert father. In many ways, he wanted to be left alone. He wanted to be a hermit, but throughout his life, he was always being called into action, sometimes to visit those for sacramental needs in his community. Even though he never moved very far beyond where he was born in Lebanon, we see how people flocked to him. They came to know him for his holiness, for his healing, for his wisdom. And so that is what we are called to, to emulate him, to recognize always that the Lord plants many things in our lives. He plants that good seed. And even though we have some that come up as weeds because they were planted by others or the world or by ourselves we know we can always be helped because we know he was even tempted to the lure and the riches of the world the riches of being in academia but he always followed the Lord's will so that's what we are called to do as we celebrate this day as we recognize this saint who as we heard Pope John, John Paul II said, we need both the East and the West. We have the lungs of the church, and we need them both to be able to breathe and grow in true health. And so that's what we recognize in this saint today, that there are many blessings in other aspects and other rights of those who follow and bend their knee in the name of Jesus. And so as Meister Eckert reminded us, if the only thing we do in our prayer is just to say thank you to God, that would be enough. So that is what we are ch challenged to do through this life of the saint who was always 
seeking to show God his gratitude for all the gifts that he had given us? Where in our lives do we need to show the simplest of gratitude to God for all that he's given us? Those in our lives that he's given to us as a gift. Even some of the people who challenge us sometimes, where do we recognize the good aspects that they also bring in our lives? As we recognize it in others, then we can also see and recognize it in ourselves, and then we can even promote it even more. So let us be joyful, let us give gratitude for everything that God has given us, and let us say thanks each and every day. Let us stand for our petitions. With confidence and faith in the everlasting love and mercy of our Good Shepherd, let us place our needs before the Lord. For God's holy church, that we may be shepherded by wise and righteous leaders who will do what is just and right, bringing us ever closer to the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our St. Mary Parish community, may we grow in faith, love, and hope. As we seek to follow the path of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that they will be comforted through God's merciful love. And we especially pray for Eleanor Riley and for Chris King. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that they will dwell forever in the house of God. And we especially pray for Rizalina, Sally Alexander, mother of Rose McKay. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, source of all goodness, teach us true wisdom and justice, and give us the courage to apply those lessons in all that we do. Hear our prayers and grant them according to your will through our good shepherd, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. And blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made for the salvation of your people, so that through the intercessions of blessed Saint Charbel Maclouf, we may flee the enticements of sin and draw near to the company of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Charbel Macluf, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. 
and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as at thou end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that we be, may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant our, grant our request, we pray, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of, late, of blessed Charvel Mekluf, we will live by this sacrament of your wisdom in serenity and moderation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. May you have a blessed week of this and enjoy all the gifts that God is giving us this summer. Not a turve, not a spante, Dios viene, not a le falta, not a turve, not a te spante, solo Dios basta. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. Those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten God.